So this is your bubble of knowledge. I started off by saying, you want to guarantee growth in your life today? Is that interesting to you? You know, if you're watching live, you know, chime in. Is that something you'd like? You want to guarantee growth today? Put your hearts, comments, and things and affirm that. Um, here's the fact. We speak a lot about the fact that growth takes place out of, outside the comfort zone. And I think everybody knows that. Any book you've ever read tells you that. But therein lies the primary challenge, the obstacle that we face. Your current zone is comfortable, right? So think about that. I mean, who wants to be uncomfortable? If your current zone is comfortable, then you know why would you change it, right? You like it. It's easy and it's running on autopilot. It's what you know, right? You know great growth takes place outside the comfort zone, but the first step would be recognizing that you're in a comfort zone. It's very, very interesting, you know, and, and I go on to say, you know, well, you can also, you know, find yourself justifying um, staying in that comfort zone. You know, have you ever become conscious of the various things that you actually do to support and strengthen your position of comfort? Think about this. This is something a lot of people don't think about is, you know, you can recognize you're in your comfort zone, but do you ever recognize the things that you do to protect yourself in your comfort zone? Because there's offerings every day to get outside your comfort zone. So these things are everywhere and unbeknownst to you. They push you further into that comfort zone and that place of non-growth. So that's another distinction is to really, really identify that in your comfort zone, you're not growing but you'll find yourself justifying why <clears throat> it's important that you stay there right now, right? As if you have an exponential amount of time. In fact, some of you, and I know this because I've done this too, some of you are justifying that your comfort zone is actually your place of growth because sometime a long time ago, you actually went on a run and you pushed into it with some uncomfortable stuff, some hard work, you know, a while ago. So there, there we are. We, sometimes we get uncomfortable and we grow, but what, what we become unconscious to is we just created another comfort zone. So here's an example of something that you can look at in your life. Um, big shout out to, to my, my good friend, Jim Quick, who, you know, just completely handed the tools to me with his, you know, quicklearning.com. Go check it out. Um, tools to read more and retain more. So I read a book a week, but um, take a look at the books that you're reading right now. If you are, if you're not reading, then you're probably not leading. Um, are those books that you're reading, you know, on your favorite topic? You know, sometimes you'll notice that the books that you read are actually comfortable, right? You know, the things that you like, and it makes sense why you would do that, right? Like I said before, it's comfortable. It's what you know. It's your bubble of knowledge, that supports your bubble of comfort. So here we are now recognizing that there's a comfort zone, but there's also a bubble of knowledge within that comfort zone. So your bubble of knowledge supports your bubble of comfort. That's one of the things that we do to support. So however, what book would you read if you were intentional about stepping outside of your bubble of knowledge or comfort, right? Perhaps a new topic, perhaps a new genre that, you know, maybe you're on a run of reading like the same thing all the time. You might be in a bubble of knowledge right there. Um, so perhaps reading more back to Jim quick, you know, read more, learn how to learn more and retain more diversifying your book portfolio. If you look at your portfolio of books, is it all the same thing? Or are you stepping into new philosophies and new lessons and things like that? That's one way you can expand your bubble of knowledge. And if you expand your bubble of knowledge, and we know that your bubble of knowledge supports your bubble of comfort, you get the idea. So perhaps a new topic, you know, all of those things. Chances are you're, you, you're probably staying comfortable 95% of your day. And that's on autopilot. Until you hear me say that, you didn't even think about that. You know, it's on autopilot and it's run by your programmed subconscious mind. You know, your subconscious mind is in calling the shots about 95% of the day. But right now in this moment, and this is the value of checking in for these lives. Um, like I said before, the, the podcast versions, the clean versions are under five minutes and you can find those at riseupwithdragon.com. Um, but right now in this conscious moment, you and I together decide to get uncomfortable. Just make a decision. 
could be just a little baby step. Decide to get uncomfortable and learn or do something new, something not like you to do, something abnormal and out of the ordinary, which is what it means when we say extraordinary. Perhaps something that you've always wanted to do yet didn't have the time. An easy way to practice this today, just to step into it if you seek growth. Um, is to set an intention is like perhaps make somebody's day right where you wouldn't have if you didn't consciously make that intention. Pick something simple like, you know, handing a $20 bill to maybe a homeless person or paying someone a compliment where you normally wouldn't. Like go out of your way to be what I call somebody's day maker. Um, see how it feels on the other side. Just like the exercise that I did this morning, you know, I went into it and I didn't feel good. I didn't feel optimistic. You know, I didn't feel like going at this day, but on the other side of it, I did. So, Sometimes pushing into those things that are inconvenient or out of the ordinary, you know, you make an assessment and on the other side, you feel great. Imagine what would happen if you did this in your life every day, right? Until you must once again, here's the, here's the catch, until you must once again pop that new bubble of knowledge. So catch yourself after you push into out of the comfort zone, you'll create a new comfort zone and have to pop that new bubble of knowledge and move into a new space of discomfort. And then I just say rinse and repeat. So love and appreciate you all. I wish nothing more than you to have the courage to take a different path, a left instead of a right today, and um, experience your great potential. Have an amazing day. Um, we'll see you on the other side. See you at 7.30 a.m. tomorrow.